I am here with Elizabeth Luce, who is from Lucky Plush Productions, and she has been teaching us ballet throughout mm -hmm. boot camp. I'm just going to ask her a few questions. Cool. Well, I guess my background is that I was a classically trained ballet dancer, but I studied all styles of like modern dance and uh, jazz, tap, I did a little acrobatics, believe it or not, a nice. little tumbling when I was a kid. Um, but mostly for a long time I, I did focus on classical ballet, but now mm -hmm. um, throughout my years as a professional I mostly perform contemporary and modern. Um, and Lucky Plush is a dance theater company, so we do a lot of dancing and talking. So I guess mm -hmm. you can add sort of acting, talking, okay. casual <laughs> acting to the list of of skills. I guess I would say finding a way to still be an artist, mm -hmm. um, finding new inspiration to just like keep going, um, to not tire of what I'm doing, to not get bored with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. That's, I feel like, can be the hard part. Um, yeah. Finding ways to learn to enjoy the practice and the work that it takes to um, kind of persevere in your form and then discover new ways that it cracks open and you're like, oh, I like this again, yeah. you know? So just sort of, I would say my, my staying powder, power is my, awesome. <laughs> is my greatest yeah. accomplishment. That's, that's good. That's yeah. Interesting. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that there are similarities between uh, the two forms. I mean, they're both physical forms mm -hmm. and so they're both performative. Um, we're both looking for probably for some of the same things like fluidity and dynamics mm -hmm. um, in our performance and in our own practice um, and consistency within our practice. I think dance helps a lot with sort of knowing your body from the inside out because mm -hmm. you're having to pay attention to how bones and muscles stack and align, um, especially in ballet where you get really into the nitty gritty of detail yeah. and sort of probably doing things that, you know, you all maybe aren't so used to, I don't know, mm -hmm. or ways you don't form, a way you don't work, which is like to be rotated all the time. But in that way, you get to know your body in a mm -hmm. new way. So I think anytime you can sort of dive into another form that helps you get to know your body better mm -hmm. um, and find more symmetry and balance within your own body is, is a good thing. Yeah, so, awesome. Yeah. So you'd say that's kind of a, like the connection of how dance and circus can kind of work together and help each other? Yeah, and sort of finding these sort of like lines of energy and where they en emanate from to, you know, create the line and aesthetic. And also not just purely for aesthetics, but also to um, find like a sustainable and consistent practice, right? Mm -hmm. And one that's supported and really yeah. strong, not just like, oh, it's just like I'm pointing my foot. It's like, how am I pointing it so that it's something I can do over and over again mm -hmm. and get stronger and, and uh, is supported 